some uses of it. This is a company I found called Fine Savings, and what they do is they send out special offers to people that they find either in the city, special offer coupons for online, all kinds of stuff. Amazon does a special idea too. Yeah, Amazon does it. Zappos is huge. Um, this woman is, so you may be saying to yourself, who's saying I have no use for this? Anybody? Oh, there's a fun in that. Um, sales recruiter. This woman is a pharmaceutical rep sales recruiter. And she posts, I'm, do you know anyone that's looking for a job? And then she posts job postings down here. So she's constantly talking to people, and the people who are signing up to follow her tweets are people who are either pharmaceutical companies, or people who are pharmaceutical reps are looking for the right job. There's a girl who just got a job um, in Boston because she uh, tweeted, I need a job for, I can't remember what the category was. Um, does anyone know about it? Within two weeks, she had a job. Found it from Twitter. That's how she found the job. Um, the other thing is, if you're going to be served by, uh, what do they call it, a server? There was just some new uh, article that they're using Twitter as a way to find where people are because they're like, hey, I'm going to lunch at so and so. And then they're getting, so that's kind of fun. Now, on your links for your tweet, on your links for your tweets, you've got to send them off Twitter. Yes. yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Use TweetDeck or something. Yeah, there's there's a bunch of stuff. So that's going to come up in resources. We're trying to get through. All right, resources for Twitter. Um, this will be in my tweet. This whole presentation. So there's Twitter toolbox, which contains 60. Between these two links right here, you have a, a 200 tools for making something of yourself on Twitter. Wow. And it, they're great. Some are dumb, and some are great. Figure out who you are and stick to your guns and just do it. Twitbacks is how I did my custom profile. So if you want to have a sexy profile, uh, Twitbacks, you can build it for free. Writekit is what I use to manage uh, my tweets with multi-editors. TweetDeck is an uh, application that's built on Adobe Air that uh, you don't have to log on. The other thing you can do on TweetDeck is group your followers. Yeah. Which yeah. Is really awesome when you get hired. Well, and you could actually create a hashtag. So if we got everybody, is everybody here willing to sign up for Twitter? Yeah, you could do. We can do a hashtag, which is your group. Yeah, academy. Yeah, academy. And so everybody who's here today, we can just have a secret conversation. <laughs> they don't join in, though. Yeah. Well, we won't allow them. We'll kick them out. All right. Uh, you can also add your Twitter to your Facebook. That's awesome. That's awesome. Now I don't have to say what am I doing on Facebook. Exactly. So it automatically updates your Facebook. Ping FM, sweet. So let's say you don't want to go to Twitter, you don't want to go anywhere. You're obstinate. You don't want to do anything anyone tells you. Go to Ping FM and update one, and it updates everything. Yeah, it's great, and it's free. Twitter buttons. Remember, I showed you that button up in my uh, top of my website, rickroshan.com. Click Twitter buttons, and you can make your own super sexy button. Commenting. So here I wanted to show you that the top refers. These are all places I make comments. Here's Twitter, sending all kinds of traffic for a day, blah, blah, blah. Um, all right, Pacific Cannery Lofts. I'm going to breeze through this so fast, so, so fast. Pacific Cannery Lofts. Do you guys know what that, those are? They're over in Oakland uh, on the 980 freeway. And they're developed by the same people who did the clock tower lofts in uh, San Francisco. And they couldn't sell them for love or money. And because it's just like a funky neighborhood and all that kind of stuff. So what they did was they had zero dollars and zero cents to create a program. And they set about, well, here's one thing they do that's really, really great. When you're blogging, don't send traffic to Blogspot. Um, get your own real blog and um, have it be an extension like slash blog or blog dot slash, you know, your URL. Because Blogspot has a ton of uh, spam and porn and it doesn't do really great from a SEO standpoint. So you want to have your own URL, your own blog. Um, they progress. They posted three to four times per week about the project progression before it went out, and they realized that their customer was really the San Francisco person. So what they did was, and if we had access to the internet, I could show you the video that they did. That they did it themselves, and it cost nothing. And they also did a turn here video, which cost all the money. The they sold, they can actually attribute sales to the videos that they ran on YouTube and the Facebook ads that they placed on Facebook. 
That was all they could afford to do was to advertise in those places. It's how I found out about them. And they had an enormous amount of success blogging about it, doing the videos. They did three series of videos and they were called time trials. And they showed people how quickly you could get from the clock tower lofts in San Francisco and across the bridge to the clock tower lofts and then how fast you could get from the, uh, not the clock tower, but the Pacific Cannery lofts to, um, what's it called, Emory Bay? You know, the place for the movies and that kind of stuff. It's genius. And it sold condos in a downturn market, which is the point, right? Making money. So we're not doing this stuff because we like the sound of our own voice. We're doing this because we want to make more money for people. I did a Twitter search for them. People are talking about them on Twitter. So that's the other cool thing you can do on BrightKid is you can do searches for people. Um, had they been doing a really great job, they would have created a, a Facebook page. And here's a Facebook page for a condo community in um, Ontario. And when we get down to everything, is plan, place, and perfect. Create your plan. I don't care how you do it, what you do it. Just make a fucking plan. Stick to your plan. Hold yourself accountable. Measure and track the effectiveness of that campaign. And that's it.